This guy simulated an entire river in a 400 gallon tank. I'm gonna take this 400 gallon tank and turn it into the river and fill it with some of the coolest creatures I could find. Wow. And it wasn't easy getting it here. Yeah, that's like a whole swimming First, pool. I must build a stand. This stand has to be strong enough to hold 4,000 pounds of water. Oh my Otherwise, gosh. it could be a disaster. Wow. <laughs> oh, but that shouldn't happen to us, right? Uh, that, I now hope it's not. it's time to add some stuff. I'm gonna start with organic garden soil so I could grow some plants. Then cap it off with the sand. This sand should keep the soil from leaking into the water and making it all dirty and nasty and sewer-like. And, and, and. Then I place two <laughs> big old logs inside. This will give a cool river look while also adding tannins into the water, if that's a good thing, I don't know. Now we have a river bank on both sides with the middle being the wasteland. Now let's add these plants in. I'm hoping that all these plants will help filter the water and keep it clean. Now that we have all this- Isn't his biggest problem gonna be like, you know how like rivers flow? How's he gonna get, how's he gonna get this to flow? Maybe he can set up like two filtration systems. Maybe one on one side, one on the other. One of them like sucks it in from one side and then it kind of flows back mm. to the start. That could be a good way to do it. Wouldn't that just push all the fish to the one side though? No, you don't want to make it too strong. Yo, you just make okay. it like, like a little, like a little suck and then it goes around and then it kind of flows out just a little bit to okay, keep that the I river flowing. Behind. Okay, Mr. Hillbilly, if you're watching this, I just came up with a genius idea if you're trying to do like a river simulation part two have it be some sort of circle gallon tank and then have the have the water push in one direction so it's it's constantly flowing and like you a could donut have it around your entire garage you're probably gonna need about like eight thousand gallon tank but imagine if you got that tight and adam's getting really excited with this idea comment <laughs> down below if you guys want to see that that'd be epic stuff in we can add water and Already, I have a problem. It's dirty. This dang log broke off the rock and floated up. Oh my gosh. Destroying everything it happens to Terra Green. So I yeah. piled some rocks on it and anchored them down on this side with some water. <laughs> on day okay. three, the tank looked It's oh. disgusting. See, it's not flowing. It's not flowing. So I put this stuff in my filter, and by day five, the tank was back to being clear. Oh, there okay. That's a lot better. Now that the tank is complete, let's go get some fish. This is Hank. Oh, hey, the Hank. Bass. hey I Hank. couldn't find a largemouth bass, so I I settled for a peacock. I also added this what? fat <laughs> this is not a peacock. fish named Big Bertha. Big That's Bertha. Kind of pregnant. And Hank Probably. does not like her at all. Oh, they're fighting. He her oh. around for an hour before she retreated to the other side. Hank, say nice. That's like you to guys in the morning. Hank from hunting the other fish, I decided to give him a worm. And he just watched wow. it float That's a big bottom. worm. I'm making it my goal to get Hank to eat a worm from my hand. So I gave him another one. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, he wasn't paying attention. I feel like they're too once big. Once he found it, he just sat there. Yeah, they're and huge. It. So I that's the like worm's eating bigger a hot than his dog, body. like literally the size of my arm. That would be yeah. tough. So you're telling me Hank is willing to bite other fish that are double in size, but it won't bite a worm? Yeah. Hank's a weird guy. I kind of like him. More time. Hanker the clanker. And yeah, I wasn't expecting much, but now I have all these worms on the ground and they caught the attention of a blue crawfish. Ooh. This is the I get in there. Larry, Larry, Larry the around. lobster crawfish. Crow daddy. Oh my gosh. He likes to he cut loves his worms it. in oh my half God. and eat half now. Oh, He's about to have a whole seafood bowl. Hey, Larry ain't going to be enough to keep the river floor clean. That's a little spaghetti so right there. I got there. some baby water dogs. Yo, axolotls. Axolotls. And Marley. And they Bob wasted Marley. no time exploring for food. The water still seems kind of dirty. Axolotls are so cool. But I, I was very in the river, surprised though. to find that one of them was afraid of worms. Oh, <laughs> see ya. On day 10, I oh, introduced bloodworms. bloodworms to Hank. There we he go. was quick to try it, but then spat it oh, out. Oh, he doesn't like it. Oh, that's like what new veggies. Like? I think he's a cannibal. And now Bob is interested in these worms. He shoots Whoa. to the surface to grab a big They're mouthful so cool. and then quickly dives back down to the depth. <laughs> it's really that funny how they sick. swim. I love and it. here you can see all the worms have settled on the floor. And Hank Are they just not hungry? Doesn't Hank care. the tank? What does he even eat? I'm starting to wonder if he's lonely and misses his brothers and sisters. What? Wait, he's what? A hunger strike. I had to find out if this was the reason he wasn't eating. So I got him a dozen striped minnows that looked just like him. And look at that. He quickly joined them while they were schooling. Oh, wow. I think Hank <laughs> is oh, he's finally like happy Hank's being the surrounded king. by his new family. He adopted Good job, all of Hank. Them. 
You guys know, like, some places in the world, there's, like, rivers that are extremely dangerous. The Amazon like, River? Like, the Amazon, maybe yeah. the Nile, I don't know. But there's a whole show about it called River Monsters, where there's, yeah. like, crazy monsters that live in there. I wonder if he's gonna put any of them in here. Like, there's a lot of piranhas that live in them. Imagine he puts a little piranha in here, and it eats Hank and Larry. That'd be sad. The other fish. That would be sad, but it would be entertaining. I'd watch it. It's, it's like watching a car crash, you know? You don't want to watch, but you have to. Yeah, I feel like those minnows are probably going to get eaten by Hank, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, Hank's like secretly making friends with all of them, but he's got this awful plan to eat yeah. them all in their sleep. It's kind of like my plan one day to work at McDonald's and then I just secretly <laughs> eat the food. <laughs> this guy always talks about McDonald's. <laughs> Jack's got an eating problem. On day 15, I noticed the plants were reproducing. Sending loads of seeds what? into the current. And hey, yo. Latching onto everything, plants getting busy. This dead plant. The it looks so disgusting in there. Dropping their land leaves and sprouting aquatic ones. This is a good sign. Ew. And of course, That's a healthy river, Jack. Red, uh, Jack, stop no. saying ew. That's so messed up. Water change. Once the tank has been balanced, we won't have to do this ever again. Now look at this. The algae is producing oxygen for the there fish. There we go. This oh, is that's good. Wow, wait, that's actually really here. cool. That's I how it works. Circle of life. To give the plants the best chance of survival. Nice. Ooh, that's good. It's day wow, this guy knows his stuff. This tank is lacking some color and life. So I added a catfish, some tiger fish, these red fish, and these algae eaters to eat the algae. He needs snails. <laughs> Add some snails. As soon as the catfish was released, he went straight to work cleaning oh, the river. Oh, it's got giant food. whiskers. I've never seen one with oh whiskers Oh my gosh. The redfish joined the minnows in the wasteland. This guy started oh, eating algae like he does. And the tiger fish were attacking the reflection in the glass. <laughs> Strong work there, fellas. But if you get out of line, Hank will set you straight. Oh, if only he could figure territorial. out how to eat. He's the I king. He's, he's gonna been die. trying so hard, and it's wearing him out. He keeps spitting no. it out. Everyone has a part he's gonna to starve. keep this river ecosystem Crawl, daddy. running smooth. Wait, where are the axolotls? We haven't seen them in a while. Bob and Marley died. On day what? 25, the tank was nah, looking I don't know. amazing. I don't know what happened. Everyone seemed to be thriving. Put a crocodile in. Where's Hank? So Except you think that he takes like bass Hank in there? Worm again. He immediately <laughs> what? came to me. So that's <laughs> progress. And for a second, I thought he would eat it. We Come got on, to Hank. make Hank bigger before we introduced the bluegill. You see, Whoa. this is oh Hank. My God. And this Hank's is gonna the bluegill, die. Except he's ten times bigger and could easily eat yeah, Hank. Yeah, that's a snack. So oh I'm gonna my grow goodness. some live food for him. Fairy shrimp and triops. But we have to okay. grow them in a separate tank. So I built this basic tank to house the food until they are big uh, enough to, to go in the main food? tank. You have to grow food? What does that even now mean? Just this is turning into a big project. This fish is definitely gonna eat Hank, bro. Oh my gosh, that's me on the toilet building so this dead. off. Hank is dead. And I guess we just uh, wait. Are these like sea monkeys? You ever hear something them? Major yeah, probably. While I was waiting. Yeah, like Bob Brian. lost his gills. What? I'm not what? sure how he morphed, considering he's in a freaking fish tank. But we had to get him out before wait. he started to drown. So he can morph? Yeah, they can lose their gills if the water quality is bad, and then they become land animals. Yeah, but there's no land though. Yeah, there's... that's why he's taking him out because I think it's... he'll die. He's dumb. Feels, what is he? It probably right. feels like he has asthma right now. Yeah. <laughs> why would he get rid of his gills if he can't go to land? Because the water quality is bad. So if he keeps breathing that water, then he'll die. If he can't breathe at all, he's gonna die too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know. Oh, you might as well try something. I guess that well, is he really could cool. Just came up every couple, you know, every couple minutes. Yeah, and I go mean, back down. That's what that's dolphins do. Probably what he's doing. It that's works. What whales do. I wonder if this guy's so big brain that he knew that Mr. Hillbilly would take him out. That's kind of like a Nemo. Or play. maybe he hates Hank so much that he's just like, I gotta get out of here. This is my only chance. <laughs> Let me just shave my off gills. my gills real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hank's a real doofus. Checkmate, Brown Hank. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a worm until I figure out. Where <laughs> he gives the heck everyone to put worms. Him. But duh. I could just put him in Morpheus's old tank. Sorry, Bob. You're fired. <laughs> on day 26, I tried a worm again. And again. Oh, and gosh. Again. Oh, the worm I just, just pooped feeling. itself. Nope. But the blood Hank worms is on so the other interested, hand though. are creating a feeding frenzy for all Oh, the there you go, Hank. Go, Hank. Th that could be the other, the, the minnows. Nah, that's Hank, know, bro. Is that Hank? That's gotta he, be that's Hank. Hank. He's eating. Yeah, okay, Hank's he's the big one. It's day 30 and... Ew! Dude, clean your tank! Wet again. Hold on. It's day 30 and the tank looks crystal clear. <laughs> I know. 
I'm just as surprised as you guys yeah, are. That's so but much the water. The main question is, will Hank eat a worm from my hand? Let's see. That's not I don't even from your hand. hand. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want to be that yeah. guy, but that's not even your hand. Now, I think the worm might be too yeah, big. Yeah, it's too big. the tigerfish really seem into this. Just look at how they circle around it oh, like a tiger of sharks. Oh my god. Then, the minnow goes in for the strike. The minnow did? And this commotion got Larry's oh, attention. Oh my god. I thought for sure he was Who going after there? the worm. But what instead, is he doing? he started eating my plants. Oh, okay. No. So if a small worm was too big, maybe some blood worms would work. Now, I've been oh, feeding working. him with these tongs for days yeah, now. Yeah, it's working. To get him used to them and not be afraid. Yeah. And now that he knows it's safe, let's try it <gasps> by hand. Oh, it's he's working. Actually, oh, he is it's working. Oh. And it's working. Hank finally trusts me, and it only took 30 days. That's pretty good, guys. <laughs> That's not bad. Right. Now put in now the big fish. Now imagine what this tank could look like in 100 days. Oh my god. Oh, he's jumping ahead. Oh nice gosh. Nice boots. Go ahead, Nice hillbilly. tattoos. Oh, nice. Showing off. What's in there? Oh he's gonna do it. It's the big Dude, fish, it's Jack. Is that where like I said. Hank is, is dead. Is it? Oh gosh. Oh, it's. Oh my god. <laughs> that, okay. That's a okay. That fish would be croc. way bigger for how he scooped Hello, it. Louis, and welcome. To the river. This guy kind of looks that? like um Ants Canada. Oh, was it? I feel like Wait, that what? that was like a scene from Ants Canada where that like was the, definitely the... Ants Canada and inspired. Right. But it seems like there's going to be a part two with this fish <laughs> that might eat Hank in it. <laughs> Did you guys see his shirt? <laughs> Defending our Second Amendment <laughs> rights. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely something uh, Mr. Hillbilly would wear. Mr. Hillbilly is awesome. That is awesome. If you guys want us to continue to follow the journey of the fish and the tank, let us know by smashing like and. Clicking right here to see even more.